In this example, I will show you how we create project as circular features on a pictorial drawing. That means the circular features given on the multi-view drawing can be transferred into an ellipse into a pictorial drawing. And then I will show you this by using a force center method. Let me show you that how we could construct this ellipsis by using a force center method. If the ellipse is existed on the vertical plane, we have to just use the center of the circle and then the radius of the circle just like this one to construct the rhombus on that plane. If the center of the circle is at this point, let's just mark this point and then vertically we'll construct one construction line and then parallel to this axis we can construct this line. Once you construct that, from this to this we'll measure the R, that means with the radius of the circle and then the same thing for the lower part it will be just r and from here to here it will be also r and from here to here it will be r so once you get all these dimensions you can just construct these two vertical lines just like this one and then the line which is parallel to this axis in this way and then finally we can get this rhombus now the ellipse can be constructed inside this rhombus it's known that a rhombus has two opposite obtuse angle and then two opposite acute angle. So if you just look this one, these two angles are obtuse angle, that means they are greater than 90 degree. And then the other one, the two opposites are acute angle, and then they are less than 90 degree. Among the four centers to construct an ellipse, the two centers are on the corner of the obtuse angle. To construct the remaining two centers, we can project a construction line from each center into the opposite of the rhombus from center 1 into the opposite sides of the rhombus like this one and then from center 2 we can construct in this way and then finally they can intersect at this point so this intersection points are the additional two centers to construct an ellipse don't forget that the projected construction lines are intersected the opposite side of rhombus at the midpoint the first sector of the ellipse can be constructed by using the first center. So you can arrange your compass from here to here in this way and then you can construct this arc. And the same thing with the theme radius, from the center to you can construct the lower parts of the arc. Once you do this, by arranging your compass with the radius from center 3 up to this end point and then you can construct the remaining two arcs. Now the last one will be at the center 4 and then having the same radius with the center 3 and then you can construct just like this one. So finally, you will have this elliptical shape. The same procedure can be applied for the horizontal plane. If the elliptical shapes are placed on the horizontal plane, so you can arrange in this way. For a profile plane, the same procedure can be applied and then the elliptical shape can be placed in this way. The procedures are the same, but don't forget that for all cases, to identify which corners have the acute angle and then the obtuse angle. At the same time, the layout of the rhombuses are the same as the plane on which it constructed. From the horizontal plane, these two lines are parallel to these two lines, and the remaining two lines will be parallel to these two axes. Now let's construct the isometric drawings of this multi-view drawing on the system. The isometric box can be constructed in this way. If you want to know more about how we construct it, you might refer the video related to understanding a pictorial drawing. You might access the link on the video description. The isometric box will have this layout. The two views are given in the third angle projection system. So if this is the front view, then the top view will be this one. So the overall length is for the front view will be 120 in the width part. And then in the depth part, the depth of the object is just given as from here. That means 10 plus 60, it will be 70 and then plus 30, it will be 100. So 120 by 100 will be constructed in this way. And then the height of the view will be from the height of the front view. And then it is 80 millimeter. So finally, once you construct this isometric box, we can place all the features inside this box. On the front view and on the top view, we have two basic features which is constructed with L shape. So we can place the positions of this L shape on both front view and top view just like this one. So the distance is from here to here is just 30 mm and then from the horizontal part from here to here it is 20 mm and then at the end from here to here is just given as a 10 mm on the top view. So finally, the place of the L shape on the front view and then the inverted L shape on the top view will be just like this one. So this will be just the basic features of the system and then you can construct every details inside this part. 
30 mm from this corner, we have to just play the positions for the arcs on the top view which is located with the radius of 30 mm in this way. The normal surface on the top view which is just indicated with the inverted L shape can be darkened in this way. And the same thing from the front side, we can just darken this part. Leaving the space for the arcade part, we can darken this shape from the right side view. Once we do this, the circles and arcs in the multi-view drawing can be constructed as a pictorial drawing. Let's start from this part. If you just look on the front view, there is a hidden line which is indicated as a circular feature by using a center line here and then the dimensioning technique as a diameter symbol, diameter with a 30 millimeter. That means if you have a right side view, these circular parts will be clearly shown. And then once we understand that there is a circular feature here, let's place the center of this circle on the pictorial drawing. In the height part, it is given as 30 millimeter, that means vertically will measure 30 millimeter. And then in the depth part, it is given with the same as 30 millimeter from the top view, and then we'll measure that one, and then finally we'll have the center point. Using the radius of the circle as half of the diameter, we can construct this rhombus. It has no question, the two centers will be on the obtuse angle, and then the other two centers can be just constructed from the obtuse angle into the opposite midpoints of the rhombus, and then they'll intersect at that point. Once you get that, all center points can be located in this way, and then we can construct the arcs. So from the first center, we can construct this arc, and then from this center, we can construct this arc, and then from this center, we can construct this arc at the same thing. Finally, we'll have this elliptical shape. The depth of the circular part is just given as a 10 millimeter here. So we can shift all the necessary features to construct the elliptical parts 10 millimeter in this direction. That means on the parallel to this axis. Once you shift that, you can get all the features and then you will try to construct the arcade part here. And then if you do that, the arcade parts will be constructed in this way. But the upper parts will be covered by the previous ellipse and then we don't need that. So the remaining part might not be as a part of the pictorial drawing and then only the curves inside this part just will be clearly shown. If the depth of the future is just increased, then this future might not be clearly shown and then we might not construct additional elliptical shape there. The circular future on the top of you can be also constructed in this way. The center of the arc is just from here to here and then from here to here so we can extend this lens and then the intersection point will be the center of the arc. The rhombus can be constructed with the radius of 30 mm in this way. The first two centers are on the obtuse angle, that means it will be here and here. And then the remaining two centers can be constructed in this way and then you can get the intersection point at that portion. In this case, the segment of the ellipse can be constructed by using only one center point here. Because we want to construct only one arc here instead of four. The applicable center will be this one and then you can arrange your compass with the radius from here to here and then you can construct this arc. The same thing, to construct the arc on the lower parts of the object, we can shift the center into the height of 20 mm and then we can get that center and then with the same radius we can construct the arc just like this one. Now one circular feature is remaining, that is just with a diameter of 20 mm on the front view just like this one. The depth of this circular feature is given as 40 mm. So 40 mm from this plane to this one can be shifted and then constructed at this specific location. The center of the circular part can be constructed by using these reference axis lines. From this point 30 mm and then from this point 20 mm is just given and then we can construct that point. So that will be the center of the circle. Once we do this, we can construct this rhombus. Once you construct the rhombus, we can just find out the four centers. The two centers are obviously on the obtuse angle. The remaining two centers will be on the intersections of the construction line. Once you get that, by using the same procedure, we can construct the arcade part in this way. For the other end of the ellipse, we can construct this construction lens with the dimensions of 40 mm in the depth part. So every feature can be transferred in this way and then we can construct two tangent lines for these curves which is parallel to this axis. So those two lines are parallel to this axis and then they are tangent to the given ellipse here. So this one will be just the end points of the ellipse on the upper part. The remaining part will be as a hidden point. 
By using this center point and then the same radius out of this one, we can construct this arc in this way. And the same thing, by using this center from here to here, we can construct the arc until the tangent line. By using the other center and the radius value of this arc, we can construct the remaining arc until the tangent of the lower line. Finally, this cylindrical part can be integrated with the given object. Let's darken the remaining line in this way and then end up the pictorial drawing. This is the final pictorial drawing having the circus and an arcus on it. Thank you for watching and then see you soon.